Yitzhak, we are back here in Oslo, in the same hall, five years later, but without you. We left you on Mount Herzl, where you were buried. Ten days ago, at the official memorial ceremony at my husband Yitzhak Rabin's gravesite, Ehud Barak promised to return to that site to report to Yitzhak and the thousands of soldiers who are buried on that mountain. We have completed the mission. We have arrived at the shores of peace. They assassinated you, Yitzhak, but your legacy survived. We're on the deck, my captain lies, fallen cold and dead. My heart, my heart, my heart, these bleeding drops of red. We have now a chance, but only a chance, to bring real and lasting peace between Israel and her neighbors. If we let it slip away, all will bear the consequences. Israel still trapped within a circle of hostility. The Palestinians still saddled with poverty and frustration and pain. Both and their Arab neighbors wrapped in an endless and pointless cycle of conflict. So if Rabin were here with us today, he would say, there is not a moment to spare. All this honoring me and these nice words, they're very nice, but please finish the job. Today we pay tribute to the heroes of peace who are no longer with us, Anwar Sadat, Menachem Begin, and King Hussein, who walked a new road of hope and taught us that peace required painful, tough decisions. I still mourn the death of Yitzhak, my commander and mentor and friend. And I tell you, Yitzhak, that you are fallen dead, but your spirit and will are stronger than ever. The peace process has real opportunities. Rabin understood that peace, like war, starts and ends in the hearts of human beings. Standing in this very place five years ago, Rabin said, there is only one radical means of sanctifying human lives. Neither tanks, no planes, only peace. So we came here to Oslo, not only to commemorate a most unusual man, for me an elder brother, a good friend that we went in a short while, a long way, not only to commemorate his memory, but to make his vision the order of the day. Unilateral actions have to be stopped from the two sides. You mean the settlements? Especially the settlements surrounding Bethlehem while we are preparing for, uh, for the celebration of the Sons of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. 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 Yes.